Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna be showing you how to level up very early in Final Fantasy IX. This video will explain how to get the abilities that you need, the locations where you need to go and all the necessary steps that you need to do it successfully. This is the part 1 of Final Fantasy IX grinding. In order to do that, we need to get Limit Love for Queena and the enemy that is gonna give it to us is between Limbloom and Pinnacle Rocks. The enemy is called Axe Peak and he has 241 HP. In order for Queena to be able to eat him, we need to deal 200 damage approximately and then Queena can eat him. Since I already got the attack before, when Queena attempts to eat him now, it's gonna be saying taste bad, which means the magic is already learned. This is the magic that actually is gonna help us level up very early in the game. It causes non elemental damage to the target when your HP is 1. This is what we need. The next step that we need to do is go to Gizama Luke's Grotto and climb to the top of the mountain. Before we actually fight the Grand Dragons, we need to make sure that Queena's health is down to 1. The attack is only efficient when your health is exactly 1 HP. Now I have acquired 1 HP for Queena and I need to flee from the battle. Once we have fled successfully, the next step is to save the game. We want to keep Queena's health at 1 HP and we want to save before this next battle because the Grand Dragon can easily kill every character with just one move. Once we have saved the game, it's time to check our equipment. The equipment is the basic stuff that we have at this stage of the game. I have equipped Queena with a coral ring just in case if the Grand Dragon uses Tandaga on him and we do not want that. What we want to do is use the Livid Glove once and cause the maximum damage while Queena has 1 HP. After that Queena can easily hit the Grand Dragon and end the battle. Once we are outside we need to engage into a random battle. We do not want to fight in the forest because we can encounter Garudas there. We need to fight outside the forest. The battle that we are looking for is against the Grand Dragon. The principle of the battle is gonna be using the Limit Glove once and then having Queena eat the dragon. We need Queena's turn as soon as possible and in this instance I was very lucky. Freya avoided the attack and now she's gonna attempt to jump and avoid any possible attack. Queena is casting the limit love and it's gonna cause the maximum damage to the dragon. After that we just need to eat him and the battle is gonna be over. What we need to keep in mind is keeping all of our characters alive if possible because Grand Dragon can easily kill any of us with just one attack. Once Vivi is revived, Queena will attempt to eat the dragon and end the battle. Luckily all of our characters are gonna be alive before Queena uses the EAT command. After that we will get a lot of experience. Everybody is gonna get the same experience except Freya because she will get 50% more since she has the level up ability equipped. That's a lot of experience for this stage of the game. We gained 
a lot of levels and it's gonna be very hard to lose any battles at this stage of the game. After this we will attempt to fight the Grand Dragon again since we managed to keep Queena at 1 HP. That means that we can once again use the limit glove and do the same. We have a lot of HP now that we gained because of the experience from the last battle. I'm gonna speed this up a bit because this is not as important as the first battle. I'm just gonna show you that it can be done twice in a row. There we go. We are using limit love again for maximum damage. Freya is in the air. And we just need to wait to see what's gonna happen next. If the Grand Dragon is gonna attack all of us or one of the characters. If he attacks one character, we just need to revive. He managed to kill Quina and I was able to revive and attack with the Eat command. Like in the first battle, all of our characters managed to stay alive and we get a lot of experience again. Our levels were 18, 19, 17 and 17. If you would like to repeat the process, just try to save every time you manage to stay alive with 1 HP for Queena. But if not, just go and use the tent, recover a bit and continue on with the game. If you would like to do this for a little bit longer, make sure that you have antibody on all of your characters because occasionally the Grand Dragon can surprise you with the Venom status. That was all for the first part of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and just to add a quick note, I personally do not recommend using this strategy to gain the level so early in the game because it makes the rest of the game so much easier than it actually is and makes it a lot less interesting.